This is Shelton Benjamin. This is Harley Race. This is Mick Foley. This is Mr. Wonderful Paul Orndorff. This is the Monster Abyss. This is Daniel Bryan. This is JBL, and you're watching the MWF. Be there live. Wrestling fans, welcome to the Thursday, October 24th edition of the MWF Newsline. I'm Dan Marani. I have begun my third decade in the world of professional wrestling. If you want to read about my past two decades a little bit, check out the Inside the MWF column on bostonwrestling.com. Now, let's talk about, as you know, we are literally just weeks, if not days, away from two mega events. Saturday, November the 9th, it is Nightmare on Ionia Street, Night of Champions at the Fairmont, North Carolina Middle School. We'll be helping out the great folks from the South Robust and Rescue Squad, featuring the wild, unpredictable former WWE superstar, The Boogeyman. John Cena Sr. will be there. He is the president of MWF South, along with the Southern Champion, the Warhawk Dylan Cage. It's going to be a great night. To help out some great folks. Meet and greet at 5.30 p.m. Live wrestling at 6.30 p.m. fans. And then, one Saturday later, baby, it's MWF Holiday Headlocks 2013. If you haven't locked in your tickets yet, what are you waiting for? As we speak, we have an online campaign for fans anywhere in the United States where we have tons of autographed giveaways, all kinds of rewards that you can keep for yourself to give us a holiday gift by simply helping out the MWF make this event come true. Uh, as you know, we have a plethora of superstars that will be appearing at Holiday Headlocks on November the 16th at the world-famous Kowloon Dining and Entertainment Complex on Route 1 in Saugus. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, joins us for the first time, a WWE Hall of Famer, multi-time WWE Tag Team Champion, uh, a superstar that will be pulling double duty. The fun-loving godfather, and where he comes, you know the train won't be far behind. He joins us for the first time as well. And for fans that have the Ultra VIP packages, you get to come into Holiday Headlocks early and get a free bonus photo opportunity with Papa Shango. Remember in the early 90s, Papa Shango was one of the creepiest characters, perfect for Halloween. Um, and you get a chance to have a rare photo opportunity with Papa Shango. He'll autograph any item, whether it's Papa Shango, Kama from the Nation of Domination, the Godfather, whatever it may be, that's fine. But if you want him dressed as Papa Shango in your album of photos you have with wrestlers, you've got to get the Ultra VIP package. Again, it's a great deal. Also with us for the first time will be former WWE Women's Champion, the lovely Deborah. WCW, she was a part of the Four Horsemen, then she jumped ship to WWE. She managed Jeff Jarrett, Owen Hart, the, MW, uh, the WWE Tag Team Gold, I should say. Uh, also was involved with her then-husband, Stone Cold Steve Austin's doing in WWE, and then during the uh, WWE vs. The Alliance feud, WCW and ECW. Deborah was also the Lieutenant Commissioner with Mick Foley had the main title, and that was actually took place at the then Fleet Center in Boston back in October of 2000 for you local historians around. Our good friend, Quincy Rastani's best friend, Uncle Al Snow, will be with us live. He'll have head for the photo ops. It's going to be a lot of fun to have Al back with us. He's going to make the Q&A session a lot of fun. Al Snow did it all in WWE, tag team champion, hardcore champion, European champion. Uh, he was the head trainer on Tough Enough, which took place on both MTV and then the UPN network when it was on SmackDown. He now is an executive with TNA. You can catch him every Thursday on Impact Wrestling when they have the gut check competitions. Al Snow has been here, there, everywhere, and he'll be with us live November the 16th. Rounding out the featured superstars as of now, well, we've got his action figure right here, folks. This is a rare collector's item. It's not even made by Jackson Mattel. It is the John Cena Sr. action figure. But John Cena Sr., not only will he be with us, but for the photo opportunities, he is bringing with him the ring-used, authentic WWE U.S. Championship spinner belt. That is the same belt that his son John Cena wore to battle in WWE 
on hundreds of occasions. It was his belt, he gave it to his dad for this special fundraising endeavor at Holiday Headlocks to give our neighbors a brighter holiday season. He's going to bring that belt. It's going to be out of this world. After that, fans, it's going to be time for dinner. Kowloon is going to be providing a full buffet dinner for our Ultra VIPs and VIPs. Um, if you are an Ultra VIP, yet another perk, along with the Papashango photo op means you get to sit with one of the featured superstars for dinner. How cool is that? To dine with them. That's a story you can tell about forever. While that goes on, we're going to have some great charity auctions and raffles. We're going to be talking about some of those items momentarily. And then it, we're going to go all night. Who knows how long it's going to go. We're going to have our interactive question and answer session. All the superstars will come up on stage. And you, the fans, get to play the host. I want to see what kind of great, unique, creative questions you come up with. It's going to be a lot of fun. Holiday Headlocks is what it's all about, folks. I actually spoke to WWE officials earlier this afternoon. They're going to be providing even more great items to what we already have planned. I try and be creative when it comes to the raffles and the auctions and so on because it's always great to see the fans' reactions when someone wins. Let's talk about what we already got, though, fans. I can't wait for the WWE packages to come, but what we have already is awesome. We have an autographed copy of The Hardcore Truth. That's the autobiography of Bob Hawley. You might say Bob Hawley was just on your anniversary show in September. I have his book. It's out of this world. It's outstanding. But not only is this book autographed by Bob, it's inscribed Boston Strong. So it does have a very special meaning to fans in this area. On top of that, if we're talking about raffle items, how about this one? An ultra-rare WWE Hall of Fame plaque of the million-dollar man Ted DiBiase. I'm not quite sure on the exact dimensions of it. I believe it's either uh, 11 by 14 or 12 by 18 but it's extremely rare, it's shrink-wrapped, it's never been opened, it's never been touched by human hands. Whoever wins that, I'm sure Ted would pose with you in a photo, a bonus photo. Um, if you want him to autograph it, he would. I mean, there's an um, uh, auto pen signature of him on there right now, but if you want the real deal, you know, we can make that part of the package as well. Ted could autograph that for you. Really cool plaque. Um, there is nowhere else to get it. They do not sell these. There was a limited edition of them made. Again, thank you to our friends at WWE for that. Um, and what about the biggest superstar in the history of professional wrestling? Stone Cold Steve Austin. I have only a few of them left, and I don't know if we're going to have them anytime soon, but an autographed WWE promo photo of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Again. Steve Austin isn't out doing autograph sessions. He's not doing the convention circuit down in New Jersey. This is your chance to win a Stone Cold Steve Austin authentic autograph WWE promo photo by simply purchasing a raffle ticket. Again, this part of Holiday Headlocks that is out to help our neighbors in need. We're also going to have a wide variety of items we're going to auction off to you. And what about this one? Um, I'm still working out some of the details on other items we have. I'm still waiting for the WWE shipments to come in, but we're going to do a TNA triple play first. An autographed photo of Abyss's brother, Joseph Park Esquire. Good friend of ours here in the MWF. He's done some legal work. We need that when it comes to that scumbag, John Cena Sr. That autographed photo will be included. We also have an autographed photo of the charismatic enigma, one of the most popular superstars in all of professional wrestling, Jeff Hardy. He was nice enough to sign a bunch of items for us back in June when TNA was here for Slammiversary. And as, along with that, again, you talk about one of the biggest superstars ever in professional wrestling, Paul Hogan. Personally autographed TNA promo photo. We're going to auction off the complete set of three. Again, you can keep these for your own wrestling collection or you can give them as a holiday gift. We're going to have tons more fans. And like we said, not only can you be at Kowloon Live to be a part of it, but we have through November the 8th an online campaign where any fan in the United States can take part in it and we have great autograph rewards. For the fans that are going to take part in our autograph photo fan fest, um, the photos that will be available are online now. 
which are only $2 each with the exception of the official WWE glossy promo photos. Those are $6 each just because they're so expensive for us to obtain. There's only going to be a limited supply as we can't go crazy printing extras simply because they hang around too long. Um, so there you go. Holiday Headlocks is really shaping up. Just the superstars you can meet, greet, and eat with these great items we're going to be able to auction off and raffle off. Uh, we'll have a 50-50 raffle as well as we always do so you can win a little holiday cash which never hurts. Tickets are on sale now on the bostonwrestling.com super site. Uh, we have the ultra VIP as I mentioned, the regular VIP and general admission tickets. For any total ticket purchase over $99 you can actually break up your payment over six months which is really cool this time of year when hey every dollar counts. Santa Claus has got to do a lot of shopping, right? Um, but again, Holiday Headlocks is something we really look forward to. I think back to what we did last year um, in this very studio where I'm taping right now. The late Paul Bear um, was with us for the last time, um, as well as WWE Hall of Famer Ron Simmons. It was a great night, we raised a lot of money. Uh, we did some things online. We're also tinkering with the idea of doing something online in December. I don't want to get into that too much until it's confirmed, but what I do want to emphasize is that Holiday Headlocks is an outstanding event with all the folks from WWE and TNA to help us out. Above who's going to be with us live, it really says a lot. Um, again, please get those tickets. The sooner you get the tickets, uh, the more it helps us out. We have so much we have to put up in advance for appearances and hotels and airline tickets and advertising and it believe me it adds up to a lot to a lot and without giving ourselves a pat on the back we do try to give the MWF fans not only the best experience and the best value in professional wrestling for fans that come to our live events but to those that may not be around Boston that follow us online we give you a lot of content for free this is your chance to give back also want to give a quick shout out along with uh, little Mr. Cena over there, we got this bad boy. I don't want to say who decorated it in case you don't think it's of the best uh, artistic measures in the world, but we want to thank our good friends at O'Brien's Farm and Hill Florist and Garden Center in Stoneham, Massachusetts fans. They are the official decor of the Millennium Wrestling Federation. It is their time of season between Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, even Valentine's Day. Um, I spoke to Corey, the man behind the scenes that runs it all. He told me they're very excited about the Nova Scotia Fraser Fir Christmas trees. They're amongst the most beautiful Christmas tree you can buy. You can get them at O'Brien's Farm Hill on Main Street in Stoneham. Um, they're open seven days a week. Again, they have flowers and decor uh, for every holiday and every occasion you could imagine. So give them some business. They're good friends of ours. Uh, Quincy said they're going to keep us looking good for all the holidays to come. But I love this pumpkin. I had fun coloring it in. The ambiance with the orange lights makes it feel like Halloween. Uh, little Marathis, hopefully we'll be headed out and be safe. And to all the MWF Junior fans out there, remember, on October 31st, carry a flashlight, travel in packs, be safe. We want you to be with us live Saturday, November the 16th. It will be MWF Holiday Headlocks as we give back to the local community to generate smiles this holiday season. There's nothing more special than that, as we want to make sure that Santa Claus's GPS is fully loaded with every kid's address on Christmas Eve. It's a special night for us, and it'll be an even more special night for you. Until we speak again, fans, be well.